Hey aviators and future aviators. In this video, I'm gonna take you through step two of doing your pilot's license, the aviation medical. What it's about and what to expect. Remember about the intro flight giveaway? And thanks to Aeronave Academy at Lanceria, we now have five lucky winners. So check out the link in the description. We are about to stall. And this is our adventures in and around South Africa. I'll briefly go over the requirements and then take you along as I do my medical. Before you are allowed to go solo, you are required to have a medical examination to determine whether you are medically fit to fly. So although it's not technically necessary to start your training with, I would however highly recommend you do your medical before you start your training because you will need to send it in with your application for an SPL. There are four different classes of medical examinations and the requirements differ for each of the classes and pilot licenses. For a national pilot's license or a sport pilot's license, you need a medical class 4. These are generally less strict than the, for PPL and your commercial. Air traffic controllers need a class 3 and private pilot licenses need a class 2. And then lastly, for commercial and airline pilots, a class 1 medical is required. Now before you run out to your doctor for a medical examination, not all medical doctors are aviation medical examiners. So ask your flight school for their recommended examiner or check their register on the CAA or FAA websites. In my case, I'm going for a PPL, so I need a medical class 2. But what is it exactly that they test? Let's find out. You start off by doing an x-ray of your lungs. It's a bit of an awkward angle to stand in, but nevertheless, all good there. And then you're off to the AME or Aviation Medical Examiner. I'm here at the Aviation Medical Center in Rand Airport, and they were kind enough to allow me to film the process of doing my aviation medical. So let's go inside and see what it's about. After filling out some information about your health and your family medical history, they hand you a cup and, uh, for obvious reasons, I did not film this. And then they measure your weight and length and calculate your BMI. If you are enjoying this video so far and you are interested in learning to fly, please consider subscribing to be notified when the next video is up. Remember, at the end of the video will be the details for the intro flight giveaway. And then comes the blood pressure test. Hearing what's said on the radio is really important when flying, so you need to do a hearing test. You sit in a soundproof box, like this one, then they hand you a big red button and a headset and tell you to press the button when you hear the sound. It sounds kind of like this, just way softer and at different frequencies. I'm glad to report that I have perfect hearing. <laughs> I know that for my age that is not significant, but ever since I knew I was going to do my pilot's license, I've taken extra care turning down the volume of my music to protect my ears, because the one thing that you can't replace is your hearing. I'll also be going into the choosing of a headset in a future video, because it plays a really big role in the protection of your hearing. The aviation medical is very important because it limits whether patient is fit to fly and there are lots of things that could cause accidents etc and anyone who is going to fly has got to pass all different tests and if you can't then we, we do other things. This means that depending on your situation you might still be able to get a special issuance. The ECG test is important to determine your heart health. So here you can see me lying down all wired up. Seeing where you are flying and other aircraft in the air is vital. So they test your eyes and color blindness. And those of you wearing glasses, rest assured you can still fly. Just bring your spectacles with you and know that you will need to carry a spare when you go flying. For color blindness, I won't go into the details, but you might still be able to fly depending on the severity of your color blindness. Please consult your examiner about this. I have linked a document in the description below that gives the guidelines for the color blindness test. And then, with all the testing and examining completed, your medical examiner sends all the relevant documents to the CAA and hands you your medical certificate. 
you are now ready to start flying and become a pilot. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them as best I can or point you in the right direction. To help you get started with your journey to become a pilot, we've partnered with some of the best flight schools in South Africa. Five of you will win free intro flights and merchandise thanks to Johannesburg Flying Academy in Gauteng, Border Aviation in the Eastern Cape, Aviation Adventure Flights Academy in Mpumalanga, Aeronav Academy at Lanseria, and Westline Aviation in Bloemfontein. All you need to do to enter is follow the link in the description and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow our, as well as each of the flight school social media for extra entries into the giveaway. Next time we are going for your very first flight as a student pilot, the intro flight. So please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be notified when that video is released. But until then, dream big, fly high, and live the adventure. I'll br Come on, you are required to have a medical immigration. You start your training. Ah, come on, Carl. For obvious reasons, I did not film this. And smash that like button to let me know I'm doing it. Able to get a special issu issuance. Dream big, fly high, and live the adventure. We're gonna do it.